In the last three videos, we have been working with this expression, and we have used it to find the inverse Laplace transforms of a particular uh, expression that can be written as the product of two Laplace transforms. We've had three examples so far. And again, the way this is set up, we have a function f of t, that is its Laplace transform. We have another function g of t. This is its Laplace transform. If we multiply these two Laplace transforms together and take the inverse of it, we do not get f of t times g of t. We get the convolution of f of t with g of t, which is this integral as we explained in our uh, introductory video. Now, we're assuming that everyone is familiar with these basic formulas that we developed in previous videos for the sine, the hyperbolic sine, the cosine, the hyperbolic cosine, t to the n, and e to the minus kt, we're assuming that everyone is familiar with these basic formulas. Now, in the last video, in example number three, using this equation, we determine, for example, that the inverse Laplace transform of s plus one squared is one half the sine of t minus t times the cosine of t. Suppose we have 1 over s minus 1 squared. Now what will be the inverse Laplace transform? So let's go ahead and see if we can figure this out. So we want the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 squared. And remember, what we want to do is, whatever problem we have, we want to multiply it as a product of two Laplace transforms. Here, this is pretty simple then. That will just be the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 times 1 over s minus 1. Now, what function does this correspond to? In other words, 1 over s minus 1 is a Laplace transform of what function? And here's what we need to know, our basic Laplace transforms. That, of course, is just e to the t. The Laplace transform of e to the t is 1 over s minus 1. So this is equal to, and of course, this is also e to the t. So this is equal to not e to the t times e to the t, but the convolution. Like this. Now, we have to put this in integral form using our recipe. Now, we, again, in the introductory video, we explained the um, convolution operation. This does have um, a physical significance. We will explain that in future videos. Right now we just want to get used to working with this relationship. We're taking the convolution of two functions, how to express it in integral form, then evaluate the integral to get the answer. So just following our recipe, this e to the t, that corresponds to f of t. Inside of the integral, f of t becomes f of x. So this will be e to the x. And then this e of t corresponds to g of t. Inside of the integral, g of t becomes g of t minus x. So inside the integral, this will be times 
e to the t minus x. dx. x goes from 0 to x equals t. Now, multiplying these is the same thing as adding exponents. So here we're going to have e to the x plus e to the minus x that's just 1, so this is just simply the integral of e to the t dx. Adding our exponents, x plus minus x, just leaves us with e to the t. x goes from 0, let's write it like this so we don't get confused, x goes from 0 to x equals t. Now, in our basic formula, the recipe that we've been using, these are functions of t. Inside the integral, we write them as functions of x. When we shift this one, so it's t minus x, t is just being treated like a constant now. So e to the t, that's just a constant, so we can take that to the outside, and that equals e to the t, the integral of dx, going from x equals 0 to x equals t. So this just equals e to the t. The integral of dx is x. x goes from 0 to t. That just equals, then, t times e to the t. So our problem is finished. So what we have shown, then, is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 squared equals t e to the t. And again, uh, the whole thing hinges upon, going back up to the beginning here, this equation, which we haven't proven this yet. We will prove this in the next video, that the inverse Laplace transform, when you multiply two Laplace transforms together, then take the inverse of that. That is equal to the convolution of the respective functions. In other words, f of s and f of t are a Laplace transform pair. g of s, g of t are a Laplace transform pair. So when we multiply the Laplace transforms together and take the inverse, well, let's write it down here. The Laplace transform of f of s times g of s does not equal f of t times g of t. It does not equal that. What it does equal is the convolution of f of t with g of t. And we will prove this relationship in the next video. What we wanted to do first was to give several examples as to how we use this formula for solving problems. We want to take the inverse Laplace transform of some expression where this expression that we have can be written as a product of two Laplace transforms. Here, of course, it was real simple. It's just s minus 1 times s minus 1. Then we have to realize from our um, knowledge of basic Laplace transform pairs that 1 over s minus 1, that's the Laplace transform of e to the t. So is this. 
So this inverse Laplace transform here, it's not e to the t times e to the t, it's the convolution of it. Now we use our convolution recipe to set up the integral, which is real simple actually. It just comes out to this, evaluate the integral, there's our answer. So the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 squared is t e to the t. So going back here, that is t e to the t. When we had 1 over s plus 1 squared, as we figured out in the previous video in example number 3, it's 1 half the sine of t minus t times the cosine of t. So there are some examples, uh, four of them so far, as to how we can use the convolution function to evaluate the inverse Laplace transform of a specific function. The trick is to be able to take this and multiply it as the product of two individual Laplace transform functions, as you saw us do in the previous videos. OK, in the next video, we will prove this equation. We've been using it several times now. Hopefully, you've gained appreciation as to how useful it can be. Now, finally, in the next video, we will go ahead and prove that equation. Uh, a reminder, the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org.